to all our loyal subscribers, I say thank you. Your support is greatly appreciated. And to the regular viewers who are yet to subscribe, I have one question for you. Why? Because an evangelist once said, It doesn't bite! Hey! Is that a fly? Let me kill that fly. I got it, I got no, it. No, wait, wait! Uh -huh. <clears throat> Did I get it? Please come, come, come and help me to Zoom. Come and help me to Zoom. Where are you Zooming to? We have a meeting with the children this evening. And I've been trying to Zoom in, but it's failing. You mean you have been trying to log into Zoom? Yes. Hmm. And it's already 10 minutes hmm. late. The children will be waiting for me. Frederick. What? Eh? Frederick. Hey, all right. You are here now. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Huh? What is this on your face? What is it? It's a face cleanser. Ah. Uh -huh. Are you not supposed to be in the meeting? Yes, I am. How does that affect anything? How will the children recognize you with this Halloween look on your face? The boys are not kids anymore. I'm not saying they are. Yes, you just said they are. Look, go and clean this thing from your face. Huh? I will, after the meeting. I, I don't like how you look. This is a very important meeting. I want you to look different. What do I look like? You are looking like the ghost of Christmas past. Mm -hmm. Well, and to think I'm doing all this just for you. Don't you want your wife to look ever young? I do, but... Uh... <laughs> now, nah, you are in now. Oh, I'm in. Where? Oh, Zoom. Oh. <laughs> Uh, hello everybody, I'm so sorry for coming late. <laughs> you all know it is not usually in my nature and character to be late. Uh, I've been trying to figure out how Zoom works for the last 10 minutes. But your mother here has helped me in. And I'm so happy that we can finally have this meeting. Again? I am so, 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 so sorry. Do you realize that no one is here? It's just you and I in the meeting. But it's okay. I forgive you. What? You, you are basically apologizing to yourself and to me. If that makes you feel better. Ha. But 
Why are these children like this? What, what, what did they expect you and I to be talking about? There's a lot we can talk about. Let's talk about how we met. That would be a good conversation for a start. How we met? Rose, please, 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 please. You can use that to wide away the time today, Shuho. This is not the place for that line of conversation. This line is open, but no one is here. It's just you and me. We are here for serious business, Rose. Oh, I see. How we met is not serious. Look, I'm not in the mood. There are more important things to talk about. So I'm not important? <laughs> we are too old for this, Rose. Ah, we are too old for love? That is not what I'm saying. And why are we even talking on Zoom? What is wrong with talking to your wife on Zoom? Absolutely nothing. But my wife just left the room. <clears throat> okay, tell me what to love about me. I am not going to tell you that on Zoom. I should tell you inside the room. Come on. <laughs> Come on, don't be shy. Oh, goodness. Rose. Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. Sorry for coming late. Oh, right on time. <laughs> I'm so glad you joined in. Oli, we continue this conversation after the meeting. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, sorry, who is the lady in white? Tell your mom to take that white thing off her face. The lady in white? Is that how you address your mother? Look. <laughs> sorry, mom, I didn't know it was you. Oh, very funny. So how's everybody doing? Ah, uh, good. Now, straight to business. We are not good. Your father failed to share with me what he loves about me. Is that not funny? Married for 35 years, and yet so shy to tell me what he loves about me. Mm, Daddy, I, is that so? I think it's actually worth discussing. We are here for business, please. And I do not subscribe to mixing business with pleasure. Well said, well said. Who am I? Well said, Dad. So, where is your brother? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? <laughs> Dad, all I know about my are the things I see on TV and on social media. That's all. We have not seen it over three years now. You all have been so busy. <sighs> Dad, we no longer live under the same roof. You and your brother may have different families, but we are still one big family. Like I said, Dad, we don't live together. I have my family, I have my worries, I have my issues. So, I don't understand. Ask the older brother. Shouldn't you have told him about today's meeting? <sighs> it's not my responsibility. And ever since he got ordained as a senior pastor, he has been so unruly towards me. Really? He's now on top of the world. He's the closest to God now. I'm done with that boy. You can't be done with your brother. Your mother and I did not raise you to hate each other. Nothing good comes out of hate. Even Jesus spoke about forgiving your brother whenever he offends you. Well, he constantly offends me, so what are we going to do about it? No, 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 no. Listen, look. When asked how many times we should forgive our brothers, Jesus said 70 times, seven a day. Now let's start counting. How many times did your brother offend you today? <laughs> See, I'm sure he hasn't. Listen, son, please forget the hurts of yesterday and embrace the peace of today. So I'm, I'm going to um, continue this meeting later. We'll continue this meeting later, all right? Uh, there is uh, a Zoom program I need to have. I need to attend the Zoom meeting right now. All right, thank you. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Yes, God bless you too. Hello, my fellow beloved. Oh God, my beloved. Now I'm assuming the word that I passed off. I can just say good evening like a normal person. Yeah. 
Yeah, so please, next time, make sure that the spotlight is on me. Dim the light of the audience. It's not praise and worship. You can't just brighten everything. Please tell the technicians. All right, thank you. Ah, yes, I'm so sorry that I, I'm coming late for this meeting. I was, I was having another pastoral meeting with uh, the beloved Dickens. You know, we're talking about how to reach out to the unreached, you know? Talking about reaching out to the unreached. When last did you reach out to dad and mom? So, uh, mom, dad, I would really like to invite you to this year's church convention. Would you be chanced? Mm. What date is it? Yes, it's on the 22nd of this month. Please, please, Dad, put it in your schedule, all right? I'm sorry, I will not be available. Uh, the invitation does not extend to you. What do you mean? Why is your brother not invited? Mom, we have very limited invitations. There are only two slots available, so one for you, one for Dad. And so you intentionally left your brother out? If I had more invitations, I would have brought him in. You must be joking. Get your brother an invitation or forget about any of us coming. See, if he sends me an invitation, I will rip it to shreds and I will throw it into the fire. Any church, and I repeat, any church that appoints this rascal has lost his bearing. And they are being shepherded by a wolf. Ah, these are terrible words to say, Luke. What is wrong with you? I'm sorry, I have to speak my mind, but I hope you heard that. I hope you heard that. Look, are you trying to say something? All right, I can't hear you. No one can hear you. It's like you're on mute. No, I'm not on mute. I'm not on mute. Can, can anyone hear me? I can hear you. Ah, oh, we can hear you. I'm sorry, I can't hear you. Can you come again? I said, I said anyone that has appointed you has just appointed a wolf. Look, there seems to be an issue with your network. It keeps breaking. What is, what is happening? What is happening? I said your church appointed a wolf as a pastor. How can you not hear that? Can you stop calling your brother a wolf? Speak louder, Luke. Speak louder. I think you have network issues. Wolf, 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 wolf. You're not a shepherd. You're a wolf. All I can hear is wolf, wolf, wolf. It's like you're trying to bark or say something. Everyone can clearly hear me except you. The problem is not my network. The problem is your network. You see, the problem is that my ears are so addicted to wisdom. There are so much so that when foolishness is spewed out, yeah, it intensely gets network issues. So please, can you come again? Perhaps uh, I will hear you better this time. Wow, wow. You, 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 you heard that? That mom, I'm sure I'm not the only one that heard what he was saying. No one is talking now. No one is talking. But this guy just called me a fool. I didn't call you a fool. You just called yourself that. Take that back. Take what back? I'm warning you, Nathaniel. Take your time. If I take my time, I wouldn't be here because this meeting is clearly a waste of time. Nathaniel, you remember that I called this meeting. I'm sorry, Dad. I apologize. My apologies. He's a pastor now. He has no respect for no one. Keep quiet! Now, can you two behave? Why are you always fighting? This is not the kind of life that God wants you to, to live. It is affecting your families. It is affecting your children. And you call yourself pastors. I'm disappointed in you too. You can't even allow your father to, to talk before throwing insults at each other. Well, he started it. Uh, why why aren't you the one trying so hard to, to insult me? Because you, you, you deliberately, you intentionally excluded me from the list of people invited to your convention. I mean, you, you made it clear from the onset that you were not even interested in the invitation. So how is it my fault? Uh, of, of course, of course, I'm not interested. And I will never be interested. So why will I waste my time inviting you? Enough. You two have wives and children. They are following everything you do and say. Lead by example. You hear that, Luke? I'm not your mate. I am not your colleague. So don't you ever address me as Luke. <laughs> so what do I address you as? I've dressed with my title. Apostle? Well, there you go. <laughs> oh, you think I would join those gullible followers of yours to address you as an apostle? I don't fight. Go ahead. Call my name. Call my name. Let's see how, how, how far that gets you. Luke, you are not my apostle. And you will never be one. Let that sink into your proud, stuffed head. Why is no one correcting this poor brat? 
Ah, don't call your brother that. Oh, but he can call me names. Eh? Listen, the reason why I wanted this family meeting was to have a heart-to-heart -heart discussion because we have not been together for the past three years. I have not seen your wives. I have not even seen my grandchildren in a while. But it seems as though this kind of meeting cannot be successful virtually. So, I have decided to make it a physical one. You all must find your way and come over to see me with your wives and children. The children might not be possible. They are all going to school. Ah, uh, well, since you all got married, you just left your mother and I alone. We need that physical meeting. Dad, I don't know how possible it is for me. This year is busy, same as next year. You know, if you ask me, I think we should just be looking at two years' time. Wow. The apostle is busy. Oh, for the love of God. Please be quiet. Dad, I wish we had more time. So, let's look at two years from now. And what makes you think that I would be alive in two years' time? That's a very scary thing to say. By God's <clears throat> grace that you will be alive. So please choose your words very carefully. Walk while it is day. Because the night comes when no man can walk again. Whatever we have to do has to be done as soon as possible. So what date are you proposing, Dad? Uh, well, I'm proposing next week. What? That, that is not workable. I know your wives may be busy with the children, but I must see you boys next week. Dad, I'm sorry I can't make it. I, I wish I could make it. I have already bought the tickets. What tickets? I have procured tickets for each of you to embark on a delightful four-night cruise. Wow. I purchased this ticket with my gratuity because of how much this meeting means to me. And if you boys don't show up, <laughs> then it means I don't mean anything to you. You made it. Of course I did. I'm so glad you made it, Neil. Same here, same here, same here. No, no, but Dad, you put me in a very, very, very impossible position. You know, I, I, I have to sacrifice a lot to be here. Yeah. Was, uh, what is your wife feeding you with? My wife. Yeah, you're getting fatter. Oh, mommy, you don't like what you see? Don't you like what you see? You like what you see? No, no, no. <laughs> Stop eating junks. Oh, God. Come on, Rose. These people eat good food. Exactly. Mm. Thanks, Dad. Exactly. Look, where's your brother? Yes, Nathaniel. Why are you always asking about Nathaniel? Am I my brother's keeper? Huh? Oh, yes, you are. And yeah. Uh, Let's go and find something to eat. I'm hungry. Yes, yes, I think we're going to get something to eat. Let's go. Let's. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'll be waiting for Nathaniel. Let's he, he will soon be here. 
Let's go, let Nathaniel. What okay, what if he's not here? I am confident that Nathaniel will soon be here. Daddy, you are putting your confidence in the wrong person. Nathaniel. Can you call? Look, Frederick, when Nathaniel comes back, he will call us. He will call us. Let's go. I'm hungry. There. Yeah. Let's go. When he comes, he will call us. Yes. Okay? Let's find something to eat. Cavalry greetings, everyone. Come, 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 come. Ah, you made it. Ah, handsome boy. Hey, ah, look at you. You are looking so fit and handsome. Thank you, mommy. Thank you. What? Nothing. Nothing. What? Why are you so late? I'm sorry, I, I went for a ministration. I'm, I'm just coming from a ministration, actually. I was, I was praying and hoping that I wouldn't miss this cruise and God answered my prayers. Oh, well, <laughs> apparently, he didn't answer mine, so... Uh, why didn't you give me a call that you were on your way? I wanted to make it a surprise. You know, I knew the dramatic appearance would excite everyone. <laughs> excite everyone? Who is excited? Like this is nothing exciting about that. Do you have a question for me, Apostle? Yes, yes, I clearly do. First question: Why are you in suit? What? What? Look around you. Look around. Who's in suit? Look at that. Look. Who's in suit here? Why, why are you in suit? You see, um, you didn't hear me the first time. I said I'm just coming from a successful and powerful ministration. If I had gone back home to change, I would have missed this cruise. You see, not everybody is uh, so jobless that. They have matching and perfect outfits for every occasion. All right? People like us, we are busy doing God's work. God has called me to oversee his sheep. I don't have time to oversee my wardrobe. I see you are well-dressed. You clearly have time. Nice outfit, by the way. Okay. Uh, mommy, mommy, what, 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 what do you have to say to this? What do you want me to say, Apostle? I asked just one question. Why are you in suits? But your son here replied me with an essay of insults. How, how, how long am I supposed to put up with this? How, how long? Please, please, please. Can we all do without the insults and the ill talks? I mean, I don't even understand. Why is he so angry? Why am I so angry? After insulting me, you can now ask why I'm, why I'm angry. And everyone is quiet. No one is saying anything about this. This, this is amazing. This is amazing. Apostle, we are here to have a good time. Huh? Don't ruin the moment. I'm sorry, the moment is already, is already ruined for me. I'm sorry. Where are you going? Mommy, look, I, I can't eat on this table, all right? Why? What's wrong with this place? Everything is wrong with this place. So I'm clearly not appreciated here. So you can enjoy your meal with your beloved son. Why are you so intimidated? You are also my beloved son. In whom you are not well pleased. How can you say that? But you just complain that I'm, that I'm, that I'm fat. But you are fat. I know I'm fat, mommy, but you could have said it in a better way. So, is that the problem now? Shut up, I'm talking to my mommy here. You know you have serious problems, right? Huh. I can't eat on the same table with this guy. I'm sorry. Hey, hey, Apostle. Apostle, I am not just some guy. I am a man of God. Alright? Please honor my title if you want me to honor yours. Honor? You've lost your honor. 
Excuse me, what did you just say to me? No, you heard me right. And the people who are appointed you as, as, as senior pastor, they were blind, all of them. You are blind when they appointed you because Jesus rightly said it. That when a blind man leaves another blind man, they all will fall into a pit. Apostle, Apostle. I know you are not happy about how God has promoted and lifted me before your very eyes. You are so pained and bitter that the promotion and the, and, and, and the prestige and fame that you so desire has been passed down to your, to your younger brother. And it is giving you sleepless nights. Huh? I hear you are pastoring a church of 11 members. I will advise you to shut up. Three choristers, two ushers. Mom, dad, tell him to keep quiet. And one assistant pastor who happens to be your wife. You're all, you're, you're all hearing this and yet nobody's saying anything now. No one is talking. And five miserable members who don't even know where to fit in. Nathaniel, stop. God has passed you, brother. You're just struggling to maintain relevance. Say this to me. <laughs> look, 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 look. Say this to me. You started it. Please, please. Don't give the devil a chance. Eh? Please. Don't give the devil a chance. You all gave the devil a chance when you allow him to say the trash he was saying and yet none of you said anything. None of you. There is nothing else to be said on the truth. Your bitterness and hatred is fueled by jealousy towards me. Nothing more, nothing else. When I started ministry, you are, you are a crawling believer. And now I'm a running soldier. Huh? You can hate on me, you can spit on me, but it doesn't change the fact that you are running on old glory. Just so dead. I and shall not die. Dirt me. Well, that, that's perfectly fine. That is perfectly fine. A seed that dies turns into a mighty tree. Stop. Stop, both of you. Stop in the name of Jesus. I command you to stop in the name of Jesus. Amen. I command that spirit of bitterness, hatred, and conflict operating between both of you to depart in Jesus' name. Amen, Jesus' name. Now, sit down, both of you. Sit down in Jesus' name. Sit down. God, and you call yourself pastors? Is it the same God we are serving? Then what are you even teaching your members? Ah, God, Holy Spirit, take control, Frederick. Rose, it's okay. It's okay. Ah, God, look, Nathaniel, the purpose of this cruise is not just simply to eat and be merry. But is to come together as a family and fight for our family and put the enemy within out. His comfort lies in our conflict. But his discomfort is found in our unity. I'm sure you all remember the story of the Tower of Babel where the people joined themselves together and we're going ahead to build a tower. The only reason they did not succeed was because God himself put his unity amongst them. Nothing on earth could impede their progress. The devil himself could not hinder them mm. because they stood as one. Yeah. They spoke with one language single language. The only way God could thwart their plans was by showing disunity, introducing different languages amongst them. The reason why both of you are struggling in your ministries is due to the lack of unity. You see, you are speaking different languages. Luke, your church has remained stagnant for years. Nathaniel, your ministry is drowning in debt. Though you present a facade of prosperity, you know the government is about to repossess your building. And your ministry is on the verge of shutting down. How can you expect God to command his blessings when hatred and bitterness have taken roots in your hearts? Look. Can I give you an illustration? Both of you stand up.
Uh, Luke, can you lift your brother's hand? Come on, Luke, lift up his hands. Listen to your father. Lift up his hand. Do not listen to the devil. Listen to the word of God. This instruction is not from me. It's from God. I can't. You can, son. You can. You can do all things. You can do all things. Come on, brother. Lift my hands. This instruction is from God to you, Luke. Lift your brother's hands. Good. My next question for you is this. How many hands are lifted high? Two. Two. When you lift your brother up, you are also lifted. But when you pull your brother down, you are equally demoted. Exactly. Both of you, go back to God. Go to your rooms and ask God for forgiveness. Should my heart go far away, far away lifted up in pride? Should my ego get in the way? Apostle. Please don't call me that title. Pride has clearly gotten us nowhere. Luke. Nathaniel. I'm really sorry, brother, for everything. Please, find a place in your heart to forgive me. Nathaniel, I've not been a good brother. Please forgive me. <sighs> Imagine the great things we would have accomplished together. There are still great things that we can still do together. I'm looking forward to it. Same here. You know, you will always be my big brother. Everything I know today, you taught me. Nathaniel, come on now. Come on. You, you, know, you know it's not everything. Everything I am today is what I've learned from you. Jealousy is a terrible disease. <sighs> yes, it is. So, have you done your assignment? The assignment mom told us to do? 1 Corinthians 13. You mean to memorize it? Uh, I don't need to memorize it. I know it by heart. <laughs> you sure? <laughs> ah, of course. Wait, 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 wait. You don't know 1 Corinthians 13? Ah, I do. Ah, I do. You want no, to try me? I know. I trust you now. All right. Let's play a game. Let's see who recites it better. The apostle or the pastor? Ah... Uh... Don't go that route, bro. Don't go that route. You know, the thing though is, you know we just recovered from a sibling war, so, and I don't want to beat you flawlessly. That's, that, that won't be too good. I was just about to say that. I was thinking about exactly that. I, 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 out of respect, out of respect, I will beat you moderately. You don't know who you are dealing with. You yeah, now. <laughs> okay, now. The battle line is what? It's drawn. Apostle, allow me to humble you. Oh my God, God, I will beat you. I'm telling you, it's going to be bad. I wish my wife was there. I wish my wife was there to see me humble you, to see me finish your ministerial career. Okay, now, all right, the battle line is drawn. So, as the big brother, I'll let you have the first floor. Okay, I will start. All right, so, um, the floor is mine, right? Yes. Okay, good. First chapter 13, verse 1 mm. to the end. Mm. What does it say? What does it say? What does it say? What does it say? Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit. Oh, excuse I... me, please. If I speak in the tongues of men and of angels and I don't have love, I'm only. A resounding gong or a clanging cymbal. Huh. If I have the gift of prophecy, yes, sir. and I'm able to fathom all the knowledge and all the mysteries, hmm. and I have a faith that can move mountains, hmm. but I do not have love, I am nothing. 
If I give all I possess to the poor and I give my body for hardship, that I may boast and have no love, I am nothing. Love is patient. Love is kind. Love does not envy. Love does not boast. It is not proud. It does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered and it keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil but rejoices with good. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes and always perseveres. That's right. Let's do it. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. <laughs> nice one. Nice one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see, I don't want to trust. I don't, I don't want to be too no, flawless. No, no. If I could fly like an angel I could speak a thousand tongues If I could host the angel army And call fire like a storm If I could smile, I could wave But keep grudges in my heart Sacrifices on the waste Not like my life Be like a sweet smell of summer I found you Let my life show that I found you That I found you So if you rise or you fall I'll be there to lend a hand Mountains high, valleys low Surely they will melt away Love endures, it won't faint It will rise against the hate Love is kind, love is patient